I'll get the plates. Killer taste, killer nutrition, always organic. Dave's Killer Bread, bread amplified. When's the last time you slept comfortably? The solution to your tossing and turning is simple, and it's at the Revive Sleep Center inside Living Spaces. We don't believe in a one-size-fits-all mattress, so we've curated an assortment for everyone. We offer top brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy & Stearns & Foster at guaranteed low prices, and have our exclusive Revive line, which includes quality, affordable options. We even provide seamless online shopping and fast free shipping because we won't rest until you do. Experience the Revive Sleep Center difference. Living spaces. Answer the call of the great outdoors in a new giant RV. Save over 10 grand on new Genesis MGM toy haulers. Just $29,999 or $236 a month this week during our spring fever sale. At Giant RV, we treat you like a neighbor, not a number. Watch Off the Clock, today at 2 on KTLA 5. Good morning, I'm Eric Spielman in for Frank Buckley. A man is facing murder charges in connection with the stabbing death of Cash App founder Bob Lee. Why police say this was not a random attack. Good morning, I'm Erin Myers in Tarzana. A store owner shutting down her shops after they all have been stolen from. The most recent incident caught on camera. We'll have that video for you coming up. Good morning, I'm Trevor Shirley in Washington. A 21-year-old member of the military is under arrest today after authorities say he leaked highly classified, sensitive information on social media. I've got that story coming up ahead. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Lots of exciting things happening around Southern California this weekend, including a mega music festival, high-speed street race, and a special night at Dodger Stadium. Good morning, I'm Scott Mance in for Sam Rubin. Rocky Carroll, 15th year of NCIS, is joining us in studio to talk about his new one-man show, How I Learned What I Learned, plus because you asked for it, an update on our very own Sam Rubin. Oh yeah, the uh, weather, what, yeah? Oh, okay, oh. All, right. all good. That's Jessica's, arm. <laughs> yeah, Jessica's arm. The weather is going to cooperate for all the events we have happening, and they're all outdoors, so it's going to be a great looking weekend. Uh, Long Beach Grand Prix. Oh, Look at that. What a great shot. They're already take, take. And boy, it gets loud when they get those cars cranked up. You, you come home with uh, sore ears, that's for sure. Beautiful in Long Beach and beautiful all the way across the weekend. 62 will be the high for the coastal areas. Downtown Los Angeles, 63. San Fernando Valley, 68. Same story for the Inland Empire. And high desert, 71. Orange County Inland at the moment, 61. And we're shooting for a high of 66 degrees. So we're just about there already. So we might be able to pass through that uh, 61. So quite a bit of time for the high desert to warm up as they're shooting for that 71 degrees. Okay, Eric, back to you. Mark, thank you. Business owners in the San Fernando Valley are running out of solutions after being targeted by thieves. Most of the crimes happening along Ventura Boulevard. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live in Tarzana with the story for us. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Eric. We're outside of a vet's beauty supply store, which has been stolen from six times since it opened in 2020. You can see here behind me, the thieves broke a front window. It has now been boarded up, but what happened was caught on surveillance video. Now, the video captured the thieves, which appeared to be a man and a woman, smashing the glass and climbing through the broken window. Once inside, they grabbed large garbage bags that were already inside the store and started putting items in them. The store is located on the 18,000 block of Ventura Boulevard. In this most recent break-in, about $25,000 worth of wigs and other merchandise were taken, according to the owner, Yvette Ingram. Yvette learned about the burglary after the LAPD contacted her yesterday morning, telling her that her store had been broken into. Yvette was already in the process of closing this store and has four others that have already shut down. She says this is due to the economy, but also these thefts. All five of her stores have been stolen from, telling us that it's happened at least 12 times between all of her shops. She also says she has dealt with customers shoplifting and pulling knives on her as well. According to stats from the LAPD's West Valley area, there have been more burglaries in this area compared to the same time period last year. Yvette tells us the stores were her passion as she was able to help those with cancer and alopecia, but the stress of these incidents has taken a toll on her health. All of the stress has affected my health. Um, I just found out that I'm diabetic and my blood pressure 
Um, and it's all, a lot of it is due to the stress of the store. And I ignored a lot of the warning signs that I had that, you know, I'm diabetic because my focus was on my business. Police are investigating this most recent incident. In fact, a short time ago, someone was out here dusting for fingerprints. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact the LAPD. Reporting live here in Tarzana, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Erin, thank you. The man suspected of killing Cash App founder Bob Lee is expected to appear in court today. He's been booked on one count of murder. Nancy Liu has the story. Mr. Lee's killer has been identified, arrested, and now will be brought to justice. San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins joining Mayor London Breed and Police Chief Bill Scott expressing confidence in the case against 38-year-old Nima Momeni.